Hey guys, so I picked up a few things from Ulta again because I ran out of my all-time favorite foundation, my LA Color Pro Matte, and I figured since I'm going to be tanning soon, I picked up the same shade I got, and then I also picked up a little bit of a darker one, and then for some reason, anytime I'm online shopping, I just hate paying for shipping, so if it's like $50 or whatever, I'll just spend $50 and then get the free shipping, because shipping's like 8 bucks, and that's like a whole makeup item, so I'd much rather just spend that on makeup than to pay for shipping, you know what I mean? So I picked up a few goodies and I'm really excited to try out this palette for you guys. It's the Makeup Revolution palette. This is a dupe for the Subculture palette and I'm so excited. I saw Holly Boone do a makeup tutorial using this and I loved it. I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial using this palette. Let's just take a second to look. I had to swatch this one but the rest of them I haven't touched and I've always wanted like army green green colors so that's why i'm wearing this shirt that's the look we're gonna be doing today so let's go ahead and get started i really wish this thing had a mirror because i'm like holding it up but it doesn't so i think i'm gonna hold up my jeffree star one okay so the first color i'm going to take is this one right here and i'm just going to put that all over the crease this stuff is super pigmented like i literally just tapped into it and like wow and I don't feel bad for spending 50 bucks on makeup because I used to spend like 40 bucks on just foundation. So if I can pick up six or seven items for 50 bucks, that's really good for me. Um, and I really want this channel to be affordable beauty products. I feel like the beauty community now is so wrapped up in like high-end products, like $50 plus products, and like young makeup girls like when i was just starting out on makeup i was like 10 years old watching youtube videos making my own videos like yeah like 10 years ago <laughs> um i was making like my own little mini youtube videos and i would literally save up all my money and go to mac because that's what all the makeup gurus are doing and i would drop like 300 dollars at mac like saving up my christmas money my birthday money and i would just go to mac and wild out that's when i got that hello kitty thing and I just really want girls, like, if any young girls are watching this video, like, you can find affordable makeup. Like, 10 bucks if you want to recreate this look. I don't want to be over here showing you $65 eyeshadow palettes that no one has the money to buy, you know? So, I am going to be focusing more on, like, drugstore goodies than high-end goodies that are just way too expensive. It's hard to even enjoy a product when it's so expensive, you know? I really want to do like a green look, but I am dying to go into this yellow shade, so I'm going to dip into that on my MAC 217. I have a whole bunch of MAC 217s. This one got a little crazy when I just washed it, um, so it's super fluffy. I think the yellow will go better with the green anyways, and we're just going to blend that super high up. Ooh, I really like this as a transition shade. It's super warm and yellowy, and I love yellow. <laughs> yellow undertones especially. That's why I always go for yellow undertone foundation. Okay, now let's dig into these greens. I think I'm going to first go into this green right here and just put that in the crease. I'm not sure how dark this is going to be, so let's see. Okay, it's not too dark, but it will give a good transition for the darker greens. I do like this color, I just wish it was a little bit more opaque and maybe a little bit deeper because it's starting to look a little muddy with the yellow background, but we'll work with it. It'll be fine in the end. Okay, now taking that same color, I think I'm going to go in with this green and then we're going to go in with that green. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And we're just going to blend that into the other shade. Now taking a more like precise blending brush, I'm going to go into this deepest green over here. I hate when you wash your brushes and they get all like crazy frizzy. <laughs> like I literally just tapped into this and like, look at that. That is some payoff. I think I'm going to do more of a packing motion to really get that color payoff on the outer V. For underneath the brow bone, I'm going to try taking this white color over here and pop that underneath the brow bone. It looks like it has some shimmer in it. Oh, it has pink shimmer. I don't like that. So I'm actually going to take my Modern Renaissance. There's that white color. It has like pink shimmer in it. That's not going to go with our look, so I'm just going to take Tempura from this palette and pop that under my brow bone. 
You can use really any shimmery light shade. Should we cut our crease? Yes, we should. Now I'm just going to cut my crease using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And we're just going to cut it, cut it. So we get a nice base for this eyeshadow. We give this eyeshadow a shot because it's hard to be like a bright eyeshadow against a dark green. I'm just taking this Coastal Sands brush that I use for my eyeshadow base and I'm just kind of blending that out. And you can use your finger to get that nice like blend. So now I'm going to take my 239 brush from MAC and I'm going to dip into this green color because I have been dying to try this. It might be better to use it with your finger but we'll first go in with a brush. Oh wow that's picking up pretty well with a brush. Okay, that color isn't as pigmented as I was hoping, but it is really pretty. So I'm going to go back into this lightest green, and I'm going to use that just to kind of um, fuse these two together. I am noticing it getting a little patchy. Um, So when you start to get patchiness, you really just want to be careful. You don't want to keep messing with that part of the eye too much. And I usually just take my finger and pick up that color and just place it over it and then just leave it. You can blend out the edge, obviously, but if you keep messing with it, it's just going to make it worse. So I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to be keeping the tape on just so I get that precise wing. This is a really bad habit, you guys, because I tried the other day when I ran out of tape and I picked up this new tape. Um, it's thinner than regular scotch tape and I like it because it doesn't like irritate your eyes as much as like the thicker scotch tape. I got it at Kroger, but I tried doing my eyeliner without tape and I just like completely messed it up. So. Wapam, a perfect wing. Every time. Okay, you guys, so I picked up two more foundations. This foundation is amazing. I swear by it. When I was running out, I was like, oh no, like I need this foundation. This is the only foundation, this and this primer. And I think together they're probably like $12. Like they're super affordable, under $10 for both items. I have huge pores, you guys. I have super oily skin. These two products are the only foundations I have found in my entire like 11 years of doing makeup that don't emphasize my pores. They don't settle into my pores like your my pores aren't saying hello to the world. I remember I used to not even be able to touch my nose without like you being able to see every pore on my nose. Like it was so embarrassing putting powder over would not help. So if you have the same problem with super oily skin, super huge pores, try these two. You will thank me later. They are amazing and I'm not just saying that like I love these but I picked up a new shade in beige and this one might match me a little bit better. I'm usually in bisque and bisque matches me like perfectly so we're going to try out beige and see if it's a match as well. I thought it was going to be a lot darker. It looks actually lighter than bisque but first I'm going to set my face using my NYX Soft Focus Primer. I love this stuff. I cannot say it enough. And a little bit goes a long way. Like I've had this stuff for a hot minute. As long as my other foundation, I ran out of my other foundation and I have not ran out of this. And we're also going to be trying a new concealer today because I'm running out of all my concealers. I feel like I've run out of everything around the same time, which makes sense because, I mean, I use them all together, but. Oh my god, it's just like crumbling. No. Okay, we're going to have to use a different mirror. I guess I'm going to have to set this later. Why? Oh, by the way, you guys, I picked up a new one of these because my other one, um, I showed it to you guys in the last video. I needed to pick up a new one because I just can't deal with this life over here. It's just, I'm a messy person, but that's just too much. And my mirror broke off on my other one. It was just a mess. So this mirror is really good, actually. So we're going to go in with this one. I'm just making sure my um, primer is all mixed in well. So I'm just going to take beige and I'm just going to, oh, I have glitter all over my hands. I'm just going to pump it out. I should, probably should have shaken this first because it was like outside in the hot hotness. And it came out a little more liquidy than it's usually. It feels a lot more liquidy than the other one does. Maybe it's because my other one's old. I'm not really sure. Okay, 
You guys just see how flawlessly it covers up your skin if you have like acne like me. I've been doing this new thing. I know this brush is ratchet because I was like digging it into my other one trying to get the excess product at the bottom. This is my Cigna, Cigna, my Sigma P80 brush. And I'm just pumping this on the back of my hand. See, now it's thickening up because I shook it. So if yours is a little liquidy, try shaking it before you use it. And I'm just going to go around my brows and try not to erase them. I always erase my eyebrows on accident. I feel like anytime I turn off my camera and turn it back on, the lighting is significantly different. Um, my son is up, so if you hear him playing or screaming or throwing stuff, um, that's just what he does. He makes a lot of noise and he throws a lot of things. He's a boy, so yeah, he just likes to throw stuff and make loud squeaking noises, which he learned from my dog, surprisingly. So I'm going to be trying this new concealer. This is the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer by Maybelline. Um, I'm looking for a good high-end drugstore concealer. Ooh, this stuff's thick. So I got this in the shade light, and it looks like it matches. So I'm just going to apply it, and I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I think I might have used too much, but we will see. Do you hear him? Luckily, he's happy when he first wakes up, so... I'm gonna try to like conceal down my nose and do all that fun stuff. I really like this concealer so far. I wanna see how much product's in here compared to my, this one has 0.30 fluid ounces, 12 milliliters, 9 milliliters. So it actually is more than my Pro Longwear concealer, so I'm expecting this stuff to last me a long time. And then this concealer, which I run out so quickly, has 0.11. This one has 3.4 milliliters and this is 12 milliliters, so yeah. I'll know immediately like if I hate a concealer or not just by how it works with my other makeup. But this one seems to be doing pretty well. It's not like breaking up my other makeup. I hate when concealers do that. When you put it on and it like takes off your makeup and you're like, what are you doing? No. Now I'm going to take this flat angled brush and my translucent powder and we're just going to set the rest of my face. I use a lot of powder because I am very oily. Why does my lighting keep changing? I always feel my face to make sure it's set. So when we go to put on our bronzer, there's no surprises. I didn't pick up a new bronzer. I did pick up a new highlighter, but I'm going to be going in with my Essence bronzer. This has slowly but surely became my favorite, especially when I'm pale. And I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Blush and Nude. This is my everyday blush. If you're not a blush person, just try this blush because neither am I. But it makes your face just look so much more vibrant and just like peachy keen. Like you're flushed. Like you just saw a crush and your cheeks are all apple-y and it's just cute. Okay, so I picked up this highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighter in Golden Flower Crown. You guys know I love gold highlighters, so we're going to put this to the test and see how pretty it is. Should I use my... No, that might be kind of cheating if I put my Makeup Revolution drops underneath, but I really love those drops and I use them every day. But we're just going to try this bad boy. So I'm just taking my e.l.f. brush and we're just going to go in. I do like the Precious Petals one. I'm just not really rose gold. I'm like a gold type of girl. Oh, yes. I'm more of a gold girl, not a rose gold. And this is speaking to me like, hello. Wow. I'm in love. That's it. I'm just in love. If I could just marry a highlighter, I would because this is so pretty. I already know once I get my Siberian Gold fixed, this and my Siberian Gold is going to be my... 
Okay, you guys, so to finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with this green right here, and I'm going to blend that. Actually, first I'm gonna go in with the yellow, and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line, and then I'm gonna go in with the green and put that closer to it. And if you have like hazel or blue eyes, this is really gonna make them pop. In the inner corner, I'm going to take that green on my finger and pop that in the inner corner. You could do so many looks with this palette because it also has a great range of like brown and mauve colors. So if you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette, then let me know. I'll probably do them anyways, but yeah. I just love doing tutorials or like get ready with me style tutorials. I just feel like we need to bring back the old YouTube. Like we need to bring back makeup tutorials. We need to bring back hauls. We need to bring back affordable bomb products. We need to bring back creativity and like enhancing the makeup i'm so tired like i've found myself stopped watching people i used to love because all they review is like pr or stuff that they get sent and it's like yeah that's cool but not everyone can go buy a whole collection not everyone can you know not everyone gets sent all this freaking makeup i wish we did but we don't we have to go buy it and a lot of us majority of us can't afford the high-end bougie makeup that all you guys are reviewing and so i lose interest i'm like why am i going to watch something that i know i can't afford like it doesn't make sense for me to go out and buy a 70 dollar eyeshadow palette a hundred dollar eyeshadow palette like no wow this mascara makes her bottom lashes so long i'm like trying not to move crap i forgot to set my face Oh well, we're just not going to set today because I know if I do set, my bottom eyelashes are going to leave black marks on the bottom. Dry eyelashes, dry. I'm going to set my eyebrows using my LA Colors Browie Wowie Brow Gel. They made the brush on this thicker and I'm like not about it. I like the thinner brush, but it still works really well and it's affordable. And this is just in the taupe brown or medium brown soft brown this is in the shade soft brown and i use this to get rid of the powder in my eyebrows and make them like look more realistic what what lip should we do i kind of want to do a dark lip because should we go with medusa or mermaid blood so now I'm going in with Jeffree Star's Medusa. I love this lip color. Anytime I can have an opportunity to wear this lip, I will. I think I'm going to put a little bit of Mermaid Tears in the center just to kind of go with my look a little bit more. Hi, Mucho Stinky. Hey. Come here. <laughs> He's like yelling at me. Come here, Angel. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a makeup tutorial in a while. Look, we match. Do we matchy? Let's take this out. No, 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 no. Let's take that out. Do we matchy? Matchy, matchy. Uh, now that he messed up on my thing. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I love the way that it turned out. I really like this eyeshadow palette. If you guys like this look, give it a thumbs up. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> or just do that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Can you say hi? Say hi! Hi! Can you say hi? Hello! Hello! as he messes up my makeup so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one can mama have a kiss mm -hmm. <laughs>